Today we are reviewing Transformers Authentics Megatron. All hail Megatron. If you don't know, the Authentics line is a budget line of Transformer toys that you genuinely see at a Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walgreens, 99 cent stores. I'm guessing probably CVS probably carries this as well. Um, you know, places like that. This costs $10. This is about Voyager size. As you can see. And um, as you can see, there's not a lot of paint. There's a lot of use of ball joints. I mean, this is the type of figure that you pick up and you throw in an Easter basket. Or you use it as a stocking stuffer. Um, this is the type of toy that you give to little Jimmy because you don't want to pay for a $30, $50 Transformer and have little Jimmy or Timmy, you know, break them, you know, and that's potentially expensive. So for $10, this is a decent uh, pickup. You know, this isn't bad for the junior Transformers fans, you know, as an entry level. It's not bad. You can see right here in the back of the box, you got 12 steps. So there's no need for instructions. The instructions are all basically right here for this Megatron. And uh, as you see, you know, the, the plastic, it's cheap plastic, but at the same time, it actually feels a lot uh, more dense than you would expect. And the transformation is... It's simple, but not insultingly uh, simple. Like, this is still Hasbro-branded uh, Transformers. Like, yes, this may be $10, but this is still better than a lot of the generic stuff that you'll see at a swap meet or that you'll see, you know, in said dollar store and stuff like that. I've seen a lot worse. All right, so here we have this bad boy out of the package. And he's not bad. I mean, look at look at that face sculpt. Pretty decent face sculpt. And then the details, like all the lines molded into the plastic here. And like I said, yeah, he's pretty hollow, but he's 10 bucks. He's on ball joints. You know what I mean? So yeah, he does have some hollowness. He is pretty thin. Especially right here, but that's because of the transformation. These wheels do not roll. Um, I guess for articulation, if you want to check it out. 260 at the waist. Legs go up like that. Kicks up like that. Kicks back like that. This goes all the way like that because of the ball joint. Knee bends like that. Ankle moves like that. Arm moves like that because of the transformation. Moves like that. Moves like that because of the ball joint. Up around and at the elbow. There's no wrist swivel. Oh, that popped open. Head moves like that because the transformation, but the head doesn't really move. Yeah. Well, there we go. It's on a ball joint too. And that's all I could do for articulation. Here you have it in tank mode. Again, super simple transformation. But pretty decent looking. Imagine this with like some good amount of paint. Wheels don't roll. Well, actually, these wheels do roll. Final thoughts for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong, whether that's you getting. A transformer for little Jimmy or Timmy and you don't want to give them anything expensive 
this is pretty good. Or for a collector that wants to army build, at 10 bucks, you pick, you pick up a couple of these guys, you give them a nice little paint job with the Gundam marker, can't go wrong. But anyways, do not sleep on the Authentics line. And this Megatron is pretty decent. I just wanted to highlight uh, some of the less uh, known lines. Because, we, you know, we all talk about, you know, the legacy, uh, the mainline generations, etc. But no one ever talks about these cheaper figures. And some of them are actually pretty good. So I give them two thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, remember, no matter what time of day you're watching this, what time of night you're watching this, smile.